For the R shunt value, we already saw that PVCIS takes the hypothesis that the current in the resistance represented by the slope around ISC is 0.2 times the current difference IPH minus IMPP. This hypothesis works well for most PV modules. For crystalline silicon modern modules, the shunt resistance is so high that this has a very low impact on the results of the model. For the exponential behavior, we have observed that all modules we have measured at Sun are compatible with an exponential parameter of minus 5.5. The air shunt zero is around 12 for amorphous modules and about 10 for crystalline. Again, these values do not have a big impact on the model's behavior. The air series has a very high influence on the low light efficiency of the module. PVCIST uses this measurable efficiency as function of the irradiance for the determination of the R series. If we draw the relative efficiency with respect to the STC efficiency, the curve of a crystalline module looks like this. We have a possible increase at 800 or 600 watt meter square, usually not exceeding a fraction of percent and then a drop when the irradiance diminishes. After analyzing measured data of many modules, we have observed that the efficiency under 200 watt meter square is most of the time around minus 3% or slightly better. Therefore, in absence of specified low light data, PVCIS defines the default value of R series in order to get a relative efficiency of minus 3%. Let us point out a strange behavior. When the series resistance increases, which indicates a worse quality module, the low light efficiency increases. We propose here an intuitive explanation. Let's define a PV module by its performance at low irradiance. If the R series is low, corresponding to a good module, the model gives the green efficiency curve. Now when the R series increases, we have an increasing loss which goes with the square of the current, or equivalently the power as the voltage is about constant. Now when specifying a PV module, we set the reference at STC. If both modules have the same STC performance, the orange curve has to be moved up. This means that we have to build a much better module for all other aspects. In other words, the effort of researchers for limiting the series resistance increases the high power efficiency, but doesn't improve the low light performance. The determination of the low light performance is the key point of the PVCIS model. Historically, in the version 5, PVCIS fixed as default the diode ideality factor to the value of 1.25. According to our measurements at Sun, this gave a very bad result, and PVCIS was known for severely underestimating the low light performance. At this time, we were convinced that outdoor measurements are a better representation of the PV modules in operation. We tried to find other outdoor measurements. The Sandia laboratories have measured about 100 PV modules at Sun, and their results suggest a value gamma equals 1.16. For the beginning of version 6, we adopted a default value of 1.1. Finally, we based our evaluations on the indoor flash test measurements, as we can think that they are more accurate due to the fact that they are recorded with a pure beam component. The outdoor measurements are affected by the diffuse and the unavoidable associated IAM loss. This leads to the present determination of the R series obtained in order to match measured low light performance at best. This determination may be based on standardized measurements, which are now performed by many independent laboratories. These measurements are following the IEC 61853 standard, 
requiring the flash test results of three identical modules for 27 operating conditions. In PV cyst, we only use the points at 25 degrees Celsius for 1,800, 600, 400, and 200 watt per square meter. We adjust the r series value for matching these experimental points. When the measurements are clean, the match is usually quite correct. We should note that most of the laboratories propose the parameters to be included in PV cyst. However, they perform a fit over all the five parameters, r siri r shunt, r shunt at zero irradiance, r shunt exponential, and gamma. We can't agree with this determination as it is very unstable. You cannot fit such a number of parameters with only 27 experimental points. In this determination, some values may become completely outside of what we have observed. And the resulting parameters may be very different when you change only a little bit one or two parameters. Moreover, they do a scaling of the experimental values for fitting the parameters corresponding to different power classes. In PV cyst, we prefer fixing the secondary parameters and perform a robust determination of the R series. When updating the database, PV cyst fixes the R series in order to obtain a relative efficiency of minus 3% at 200 watt per square meter.